Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest UEFN beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create boss battles in your level. So boss battle for all of you who play games is a well-known concept, it includes basically having a much more powerful singular enemy that you take on inside of your level in your game. The same is more than possible in UEFN and Fortnite Creative, I'm going to show you a really simple and basic way how you can achieve that. It's not going to be overly dramatic and super visually interesting, but it will still provide you with that option of having the ability to basically have bosses in your game. So first of all, as you can see, I have my player spawner here and a single chest. I'm going to search for a device that is called creature spawner and with the creature spawner I'm going to create my first let's say type of boss that you'll be able to have in your level and here it is creature spawner we're going to set it up here and that's going to be my first type of enemy with the selected creature spawner I'm going to go here and choose under creature mega brute now I'm going to add also a creature manager that will allow us to edit and change the nature of the same enemy so when I click on it creature type will be mega brute and I'm going to check out health, damage to the player and movement speed. All of these are basically there to allow you to edit and change the type of enemy you're encountering. So for starts we can set up the Mega Brute's health to a thousand, damage to player to 15 and movement speed to 0. 1. That way when we get the same brute in the level we're going to have it attack us with a lot of health, not that much damage and it's going to appear to come towards us really really slowly. Besides that we also want to limit the number of creatures to 1. We're activating radius activation range we're expanding it and we're going to limit spawn creatures so it's just a single spawned enemy with that we have our basically boss like figure that's going to come and attack us with not that much damage but with a lot of health and with not that much speed i'm going to go for push changes and we're going to try this out in the game itself where the same monster in this case in this case a boss like figure will appear and be ready to kind of take us on while we of course have the ability to fight back which is kind of the point of any boss battle and here we are we're in fortnite creative now let's test out our bossed mega brute and how the same functions let's go for start game and here it is here's the spawner here's the single mega brute as you can see he, it's coming really slowly towards us we can now engage it and as you can see it's taking a lot of damage it's right now at half of the expanded damage when we come closer it missed us but there it is it's taking out 15 points of damage and moving really slowly so taking out a monster like this would not be a big of an issue with a really capable gun but you can modify this however you like in whatever shape or form you like so that you can create your boss figures now i said at the start that this is one of the ways how you can create boss figures in my next video i'm going to showcase how you can create an iron boss so it's going to be a type of guard 
that is again going to function in a manner very similar to a regular boss that you often find in other games as well. That's it for this short tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you can apply the things that you learn in your UEFN and Fortnite Creative projects. Thank you so much for being here and watching. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon page where you can sign up and send me monthly each month. And I also sell books on Amazon. We can check out these as well in the link in the description below. But the simplest, cheapest and easiest way to support me is to subscribe and be here for my new videos. Until then, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica and I'll see you on my next UEFN tutorial. And you, all of you, have loads of fun. Until then, in your UEFN projects. Bye bye.